stage and screen with Andy Snowden. Let us know what you want to hear on WhatsApp with the number 01978 540 410. We love local. Callan FM. The fantastic floral dance that features on the soundtrack of Brassed Off. Now, back in 1996, the highly emotive movie Brassed Off was released in cinemas, telling the tale of the struggles of pit closures in the mining town of Grimley in Yorkshire. Now, a theatrical adaptation by Gavin and Stacey actor Stefan Rodri is having a run at the Arts Centre in Aberystwyth with a multi-talented cast of actor, musicians and starring legendary Welsh actors Yayan Rees and Philip Harris. And I'm so pleased to welcome back to the stage and screen show Phil Harris. Andy. Phil, how are you, my friend? Hey, it wasn't that long ago that we uh, that we welcomed you to, uh, to Wrexham at the William Aston Hall for an evening with uh, Nigel Owens. How, um, how, how was it? We had a fantastic time. The um, the welcome from the Wrexham audience was was great as always, and uh, Nigel Owens was on top form. Yeah, the uh, raconteur that he is, um, he just you press a button and he's and he's off. Well, I always imagined that he'd be a, a, extremely good value for money, Nigel, Nigel Owens. But uh, they're, oh, they're very yeah. popular, aren't they? The uh, the evenings with they sort of uh, they, they they bring in a big crowd. They they have you know we we've done a few now as you know we've uh, we've done Shane, uh, we've got the uh, Wrexham football legends coming up on the twenty first of September. Yeah, um, Dixie O'Neill, Wayne Phillips, Steve Watkins. So you know we're looking forward to that with Nick Nick Barry officiate. Um, so yes, you know, with the long may they run, and we've got uh, we've got a few plans for next year as well. So um, watch this, yes. Yeah, fantastic. What well, how what's the concept of it? Do, 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 does the audience get an opportunity to uh, pose any questions or is it just uh... They do. What what we like to do as a company at Lib uh, Cymru, what we like to do is we, we like the environment of the theatre. Um so it just takes you away from the clubs and the pubs where you can have a great night, but but the audience and clientele are slightly different, so we can we can have more family orientated evenings. Yeah. Um, which means then that for the first half, the the stars can tell their own stories. We ask the questions, um, and then for the second half, we open it up to the audience, and um, you know they 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 love the opportunity to chat with their with their um, you know with their heroes, and uh, and to ask them the questions they've always wanted to ask. So it yeah. works well. Fantastic, and as I say, it's uh, it's it, it, the very the, the growing the growing in popularity these evenings, and uh, you, you've had some corkers over the years. But we're we're certainly looking forward to the Wrexham Legends as uh, Wrexham FC is going from strength to strength, as you well uh, well appreciate, right? Oh, love it, love to you know, love to get carried along with the wave as well. It's fantastic. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, definitely. And also, as well, regular regular listeners to my show will be well aware that you're the the resident dame, shall we say, at Theatre Cluid. It's uh, for the best part of. Three years now, Phil. What's the uh, what's the draw for you, mate? <laughs> well, I tell you what. You say three years. I've been there for twenty-three years. So <laughs> you know, I said I said I meant three decades. Sorry, I three say. decades. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, it's it's just the audience, isn't it? It's the audience and the quality of production as well. Mm. Um, it's it always surpasses year year after year. You think how can it get any better? And it does year after year because the uh, the audience. Are so fantastic. They're so warm and welcoming, and um, and the quality of production is always top notch. So it's yeah. you know it's a, it's a no brainer, really, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And uh, you're you I mean, this year is uh, Sleeping Beauty. You're written again by the brilliant Christi- Christian Patterson. Ben Locke returns, and I heard that he won an award for last year's production, which I don't oh. think anyone was surprised by. No, he's fantastic. He, he won the uh, the best villain. Yeah. And um, you know, I kept telling him throughout the throughout the run, I said, You're gonna win best villain this year with without a doubt. And uh, he's so good at playing that comedy villain role, you know. He, yeah. he's he's got a great voice and he, and he you know, his his physical comedy is is second to none. Um 
and he's just he's just a class, you know, and uh, long may he reign, uh, as yeah. they say. Absolutely. And rehearsals for that are going to start in just a matter of weeks, which I don't oh, know if it's, it's our age, Phil, but I think <laughs> Christmas seems to come around far too fast these days. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> it starts in October, so, you know, yeah. I'm reading years around the corner. It's... Uh, it's got something to look forward to. Anyway, I do look forward to it every year. Yeah, brilliant. But um, just just jumping back to the presence at the moment, you're uh, you're in the brilliant Brest off at playing at the Aberystwyth Arts Centre until the 26th of August. Tell us about it. What, what, what's going on with this one? Yeah, it's, it's a fantastic show, and uh, if people get the chance to come down, it's not that far away. Um, it's it's about um, you know the film obviously is 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 famous and well known and loved, and um, they they've made the stage play uh, of the film, um, and the our trans not translation but our adaptation uh-huh. um, is by Stefan Rodri, uh, Dave Coaches from uh, Gavin and Stacey. Oh yeah, yeah. Who uh, of course is a theatre croid stalwart over the years. Definitely. He's, uh, yeah. You know, and he wrote this ad- adaptation for Theatre Croyd when they did it uh, a good few years ago. So um, we've set it in the in the in the South Wales valleys, and um, it's it's during the the closure of the pits and the economic struggle and the uh, cost of living crisis. Hey, sounds like something we're going through at the moment, doesn't it? I was going to say it's so My similar, goodness, isn't it? Thing. Yeah, it, it's so pertinent to today. It's it's unbelievable. The the speech at the end is timeless. Uh, you know, it could have been 20, 30, 40 years ago, it, and it's relevant today as well. Yeah. So um, it's a great show. We've got a great cast. Um, we've we most of us are actor musicians, and um, I've learned the baritone horn specially for it. So that's uh, something I've enjoyed doing wow. <laughs> to add to my sax and flute and yeah. stuff. Um, but um, you know, you know, the uh, what we've done is we we're treating it as an ensemble piece. So we've got a ten-strong brass band. So it doesn't have the the depth and strength of a, of a full brass band, but the quality of musicianship is fantastic. Yeah, uh, well, we've got some lovely, lovely players in the the area Aberystwyth, who come in to uh, augment the band sound. Um, so we've all learnt from them, and it's it's been fantastic, you know. But I can remember the first time I saw this uh, saw this uh, well the movie version of it, it was back in 1996. Yeah. Incredibly, um, starred of course Ewan McGregor and Tara Fitzgerald. Pete Postlethwaite was just off the scale, as was Stephen Tomkinson. Yes. I was yeah, amazed that like, Stephen Tomkinson didn't get an Oscar for what for what he pulled out. Yeah, he's great, wasn't he? Yeah, absolutely the, um... incredible. The guy, the, well, the two of them playing the parts here, Johan Heaven playing uh, David, the uh, the conductor, and uh, Joey Hickman playing um, Hayden, the uh, the part that Steve Tompkinson played. They're both brilliant. All the cast are brilliant. Yeah. Um, you know, but but those those particular characters, they've got so much emotion behind them, and uh, and um, you know, problems with with their own personal identities and, and things like that, and yeah. and they just pull out some fantastic performances. Everybody's good in it, though. I gotta say. But I say this this, this production, this, this show has got it's, it's got everything. It's a, it's a, well, it's a comedy, definitely. It's a, it's a, it's very yeah. tragic and. And, uh, but it's got a love story that runs through the middle of it. It's uh, it's quite. Uh... <laughs> it's it's exactly you hit the nail there on the head. It's not one thing, is it? You no. know, it's uh, it's an amalgamation of all kinds of of pot boilers which come together and uh, make make a lovely whole. Yeah. Um, the the love story is just poignant and beautiful, played lovely by Siren Sandham Davis, who of course is from Hollywell and was in Panto with us a few years ago. Marvelous. And um, and Geraint Edwards, who's a lovely actor and was up in Theatre Cloyd also not long ago. Yeah. It's unbelievable, the Theatre Cloyd connection. Yeah. We've got Sarah Harris-Davis, who's in Theatre Cloyd not long ago and in the Theatre Cloyd Brass Off production. Um, so, you know, we've got all these connections. And my buddy, Ian Reese, who, um, who shares the ad-lib company with me and... Uh, we do all an evening with. Uh, he, <laughs> we both play uh, two best friends in it, and uh, we're always together. So it's it's life mirroring the stage there. It um, is on stage mirroring life, I should say. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, I, I find I found a, a, a bizarre thing. I did um I did a BBC thing years ago called. Uh, 
Oh, I can't remember what it's called. That's annoying. But anyway, <laughs> I, I was looking back on it, and um, and uh, Yayan Reese he popped up on it, and I was like, "Oh my god, I've worked with it." <laughs> Good God, was it was that a play? No, it was it was like um, like one of these kind of um, miscarriage of justice type of things. Oh, rough justice, yes. it was called. Yeah, yes. Um, yeah, well, I know what you mean, and um, if I'm right, the another actor in that was Julian Lewis Jones. Right. And I'll tell you uh, who else was in it, which was, was weird, Steve Spears. And he was yeah. really young as well, in it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I remember Yayan yeah, doing that. Uh. Um, and, and um, of course, Julian Lewis-Jones, uh, another theatre cloid stalwart as well. So, uh, right, right, right. connections all over the place. Absolutely. But you say, I mean, as you say, this, this story is just, uh, it, it stands up. It's, it's a stalwart. It'll never get old, I don't think, this story. But I think the star of the show is definitely... Uh, it, it's definitely the music. It, 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 yeah. the, the music is just incredibly emotive, isn't it? This kind of music. Ah, uh, it, it is. It is. And and Johan Heavin, who plays David, the conductor, he's our MD as well, and um, he comes from a brass band tradition. He plays with a very port brass band, um, so he's managed to get all the music together and the parts and the arrangements. And um, we've um, we, we've kept it Welsh as well, so the music we play is is very Welsh, yeah. um, as opposed to what 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 you get in the film. Uh -huh. um, but it's still it's still wonderful the music. Uh, you know, we, we do we test test piece arrangements of Men of Harlech and uh, and all through the night and, and all kinds of things. So it's it's great, fantastic. But it is it, it it's bizarre that how you can be so. It can make you feel so happy and so melancholy within a matter of seconds. It's bizarre, really. And like, oh my god, yeah, it's it's a real black comedy. Uh, one one minute you are literally laughing, and the next line you're crying your eyes out. Yeah. Um, it's, it's it's just it's brilliant the writing in it, and um, and and the the writer Mark, Mark Allen, he's coming to see the show as well at some point, which uh, we're looking forward to. Fantastic. So, um, yeah, it's all it's all come together really nicely. Wonderful. Well, it runs at the Aberystwyth Arts Centre until the twenty sixth of August. Is that will it close then, or is is the room to go on tour, or what's happening? Well, it's it's part of the it's it's a tradition here. It's the Aberystwyth summer season, right? So it probably won't go on tour. Um, so this is your chance to come and see it. Um, it it's just Aberystwyth summer season has been going since. Well, late seventies, early eighties, you know, and uh, it's it's a fun, fantastic tradition. I was lucky to be there last year to do Operation Julie um, about the um, LSD drugs bust in the seventies, and um, you know, it's it's just it's a wonderful place. They they put on all kinds of different, usually musicals or plays with music, um, and it caters for the um, you know the tourists who are here and for the locals as well. Yeah. So um, it ticks all the boxes in that respect, then. But um, you know, come and see it if you can. We've, we're here until the twenty sixth of August, and um, we've got um, two matinees a week on a Wednesday and a Saturday. So you could drive down and go back on the same day if needed. Yeah, brilliant. Phil Harry's. It's always a pleasure to speak to you, my friend. Thanks ever so much for that. I really appreciate it. Pleasure. I mean, and look forward to speaking to you again. Maybe we'll have a chat about the Wrexham Legends Definitely. coming up on the twenty first of September. Yeah, <laughs> let's do that. The twenty first of September at the William Aston Hall, I presume. Fabulous. Brilliant. Phil Harry's. Uh, I, I shall, if I don't speak to you before then, I shall see you at the Theatre Clue for the pantomime. But until then, brassed off is running at the Aberystwyth with Arts Centre until the twenty sixth of August. Cheers, pal. Thank you, Andy. See you soon. No worries. Please take care. Bye-bye. Ta-da. ta da so, running up at the Art Centre in Aberystwyth until the 26th of August, the theatrical adaptation by Gavin and Stacey star Stefan Rodri of The Brilliant Brassed Off. As I say, stars Yayen Rees and Philip Harris and will be there until the 26th of August. Box office number for the Art Centre in Aberystwyth, 01970 Three two. That's oh one nine seven oh six two three two three two. Go on, support your local theatres, ladies and gentlemen. They won't be there forever if you don't. Stage and screen with Andy Snowden. Let us know what you want to hear on WhatsApp with the number oh one nine seven eight five four zero four one zero.
We love local. Callan FM. 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 FM.